Hi, in this video we're going to use dynamic programming to help us solve a maxi min problem. So, before we start working on this problem here, I'm just going to show you a slightly simpler problem um, that we can use to kind of get our head around and just make sure that we understand what's going on. So I'm going to draw a very simple network here. It's going to be a directed network. And we're going to have our vertices A, B, C and D, and we're going to have some weights along here. We'll have 6 here, 3 here, 5 here, and 4 here. Now, to give this some context, I want you to um, imagine that you are a truck driver, and you are currently at A, at a um, and you want to get to D, and you've got some stuff that you want to put into your truck, um, but you want to take as much as possible um, with you from A to D. Now, these weights here, um, they're telling you the maximum number of tons that you can carry along each of these edges. So the maximum I can carry along A to B is 6, and the maximum I can carry along B to D is 3. Um, and this is 5, and this is 4. So because you want to get from A to D, you um, if you went along this route here, A, B, D, well, although I can carry six along here, I can only carry three along here. So I'd have to start out with three tons in my truck and um, I'd be able to do this route. And that's the maximum I can carry along this route here. Okay, if I was going to go along this route, I can carry five down from A to C, but only four from C to D. So I would have to start out with four tons and then I'd be able to take this route here. So, um, I'm looking for my minimum weight along each of the routes. However, I want to maximise that minimum weight. Hence, a maxi-min problem. I'm trying to maximise the minimum weight um, along each of the routes. And that's why it's a maxi-min problem. So, um, so, the solution to here would be um, a, C, D with a maximum value of 4. So we're going to apply this idea to this um, slightly more complicated network over here, but we're also going to have a look at how we can use this table here to present our solutions. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to decide, um, so I've, got, I've already got my stages labelled in here, but we want to decide um, which um, stage each of these vertices are. So for example if we look at E first of all and in fact we'll look at F first of all um, and you can see from F we've only got one way of getting to G. Yeah, So just one transition that takes us to G. That's the largest um, number of transitions um, to get to G is just one. So that's going to be F here. F is um, a, a stage one. So um, if we look at E, well, I can get to G in one transition from E, but the maximum number of transitions that will take me there, I can't go that way obviously because these are directed graphs, but I can go this way followed by this way. So that's two transitions. So that um, we would say that E has a stage variable of 2. So I'm going to put my E in there. D actually has a stage variable of 3. And B and C both have a stage variable of 4. So I'll put B in here and C in here. Um, and I'm just going to draw a line across here. And then finally, A has a state a stage variable of 5. Okay, so we're now going to have a look at each of these in turn. We're going to start with F. And F, there's only one route I can take from F, and that is directly to G. So that means that the um, if I was starting at F in my truck, I can carry 4 tons. Okay, so we'll just think of it that way. So um, my action is to go to G and my value is going to be 4. And that's going to be my current maximum. 
my current max and min is actually going to be 4. So I know that if I get to F, I can carry 4 to get to G. Okay, so um, my next one that I'm going to have a look at is E. So um, from E, there's two things I can do. There's two actions I can take. I can either go to F or to G. So um, I can either go to F or to G. So we'll have a look at F first. But if I go to F, I'm looking for the maximum. Sorry, the minimum, I should say. The minimum of um, 2. Yeah, which is the, the root from E to F has a weight of 2. And from F, we already know that the current maximum is actually 4. Okay, so I'm looking for the minimum of 2 and 4, which is going to be 2. I'm then going to have a look at um, G. So if I go from E directly to G, well, that has a straight value of 3. So at this stage now, my maxi min is going to be 3. Let's just make sure we understand what that means. So if I start at E, um, the two possible routes are going to be that route, which gives me a, maxi, um, a maximum that I can carry of 2, and this route here, which gives me a maximum that I can carry of 3. Okay, so of those, my best um, maximum is going to be this route here, which is three, because I can carry more weight taken uh, along this route here. Okay, so we have a look at the next one, and this time we're at D, and there's two actions that can happen from D. I can either go to E or to F. Um, so if we look at E and F, so from E, um, that has a weight of 5 along that action so I want the minimum of 5 and um, so if I'm now at E I already know that the maximum there is going to be 3 so it's going to be 5 and 3 and the minimum of those is obviously going to be 3 from F so D to F we've got a value of 6 so I've got a minimum of 6 and if I'm at F then um, my current maximum in there is 4 so it's going to be 6 and 4 so my minimum there is going to be 4 right so of those my current maximum my best case scenario here is going to be that one there Okay, so moving on to B now. So two routes from B. We've got um, B, E and B, D. So if we have a look at, we'll do D first. Okay, so B, D is, well, we want the minimum of four, which is that route there. And then from D, I know my current maximum is four. So it's going to be four and 4, which is equal to 4, and if I take the root from D to, sorry, B to E, that has a value of 1, I've got a minimum, and it's clearly not a root that we want to take, 1, and from E, we've got a maximum of 3, And that gives me a minimum of 1. So my best case scenario here, my current maximum is going to be that 4 there. Okay, so from C, again I've got two paths. I've got D and F. D is 3 and F is 6. So that's D, F. We want the minimum of, and D was 3. And if I'm now at D, I know my current maximum from D is 4. So the minimum there is going to be 3. And if I go from C to F, that's going to be 6. 
Okay, so there's that six there, and if I'm now at F, well, my current maximum now is going to be four, and the minimum of those is going to be four. So my best case scenario from C is going to be four. Okay. Now finally at A, there's three routes that we can take from A. We've got B, C and D. So if we have a look at A to B first of all, that's going to have a value of 7. So we've got the minimum of 7. And if I'm now at B, I can see that my current maximum there is going to be 4. So I want the minimum of 7 and 4, which is 4. Um, from A to C, we've got a value of 2. And from C, the um, current maximum is 4. So I can put that in there, 2 and 4. And that's going to give me a minimum of 2. Doesn't look like a good route, that one. And then finally, we've got A to D, which has a value of 6. And from D, we can see that... Um, We've got our current maximum, which is going to be 4. And that's going to be equal to 4. And our maximum there, well, we've got this 4 here. But we've also got this 4 here. So what that's telling us is that there's actually two possible routes that we can take where the maximum, um, so if we were a truck, the maximum that can, we can carry is going to be four tons so let's just have a look at what those routes might be so we'll we'll start by going along a b so that's going to be one of our possible routes so that's going to be a to b um, and then from b it would be to d and then from d it would be to f and then from um, F it would be to G A B D F G or um, we've got well we can start by going A to D and then from D our shortest is going to be F and then from F um, we're going to go directly to G. And both of those routes have a mini max, sorry, a maxi min, I should say. Of four. Okay, a maxi min of four. Um, and that's just going to check those. So we've got, um, we'll start with A, D, F, oops, sorry, I'll try that again, um, A, D, F, G, and that's 6, 6, 4, so the maximum that I can carry along this route is going to be 4 tons, or we've got A, B, D, F, G, so that's 7, 4, 6, 4, and again, the um, maximum I can carry along that path is also going to be 4. OK, um, I hope that made sense. We can similarly work on a different type of problem that's called mini-max, where rather than um, choosing the... Um, trying to find the shortest um, edge in a path and maximising that, we're trying to find the largest um, weight in a path and we're trying to minimize that okay um, so you might want to try this problem again and do it as a mini max rather than a maxi min okay hope you find that useful i'll see you next time